I call this method two, but it's just a slight variation, really. Uh, in the first one, we put the cursor here, made a section break, put the cursor here, made a section break. This method saves just a little bit of time. If this is selected, and then we go to the Layout tab, Breaks, Section Break, Continuous, it, it puts the section break here, but you still need to put the cursor right at the front of the following paragraph and click Layout, Breaks, Continuous to get the second piece in here. If I undo that, and we don't have that second piece, and put the cursor here, and we go to Margins, Custom Margins, and we've been asked to make 3 inch. I'm just going to make this very narrow. Don't forget about your Tab key. 3. Apply to this section. OK. You can see that it, it really thinks that this is a section above and there's only one section below. So if I put my cursor back here and put on my section break and then return my margins to normal, uh, there we go. So the bottom line is to isolate a section you need that break before it and after it.